You may say the sky is the limit. The opportunities for SkyScope in our area are multifaceted uh, with precision ag, um, the gateway to the, the Bakken and the transmission lines, the pipelines, uh, the um, uh, wind energy, and all the things that they do so well in surveying and making sure that the systems are safe. SkyScopes is joining Western North Dakota. The company is starting Magic Sky, which is an opportunity to send unmanned aircrafts up in the sky to get more than pictures. The Magic Sky symbolizes that Minot has open skies for data collection and precision ag, energy, and government defense that can provide cost savings to end users. Skyscopes hopes to bring five aircrafts that can travel up to three miles and can fly between 15 and 35 minutes at a time. We're blessed to have aircraft such as this one and actually the most advanced commercially available small unmanned aircraft uh, in our possession. It's called the Sharper A6 and it has a special payload able to collect infrared, electro-optical, LIDAR, nadir, et, et, and mother, uh, many other types of uh, of aerial data. The aircrafts will assist many industries, including agriculture, education, engineering, and utility companies. It's uh, important to get unmanned aircraft out there to save maintenance needs as well as other things. The maintenance of energy infrastructure such as flying transmission lines, wind turbines, and, uh, and pipelines. They can make a positive impact on our farmers. The quality of the data that you can collect from an unmanned aircraft is better than a manned aircraft uh, because you can get closer to the ground and because it's a lot more cost effective. But it's so much so better than the satellites because they can't count individual plants. Farmers can know when there are plant diseases, can predict crop yields, and can display where more water is needed. We're here to work together with you. Western North Dakota is truly reaching for the sky. In Minot, Alexis Arthur, KX News.